Hello guys. Okay, here's a uh, freshly prepared aluminum air battery. Uh, aluminum strip. Uh, paper, ordinary paper towel over it is insulator. The electrolyte is 1.4 uh, molar potassium hydroxide aqueous solution. I have activated, uh, no, just ordinary decolorizing uh, charcoal above that uh, paper towel insulator. Some manganese dioxide catalyst. And what's of interest here, a freshly prepared expanded graphite thin electrode. Uh, I pressed that together in a plastic container, the expanded uh, graphite. Uh, this is what it looks like. It's a gift from Asbury Graphite Mills in Asbury, New Jersey. And uh, not too much mass of ordinary graphite is need needed to fill this pail. Well, it has very interesting properties as well as being a uh, precursor of graphene. And uh, with a cork, using just a cork to tamp it down, I pressed down some of the expanded graphite and I wanted to test it out as an electrode. And I have a strip of copper over it as a current collector to help it along, simply to attach the alligator clip. So here I have an LED attached. It's pretty bright. And that's a uh, 1.2 volt uh, LED from a solar lamp. I get them at Walmart for a dollar each and I pull out the nickel cad bat battery. I use that rechargeable battery for other projects and I'm able to hook that up as a quick uh, uh, lighting source, a small load for this uh, thin uh, makeshift aluminum air battery. I'll be uh, actually working on this and pressing it down more but making it very thin, the uh, expanded graphite, to make a, a very flat aluminum air battery. Uh, I was getting about 1.55 volts open voltage and uh, short circuit. I was getting, uh, it started out about 12 milliamps and it went up to 25. So um, this was put together very quickly but uh, the key here is the uh, expanded graphite as the current collector. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.